there are a number of what I would consider essential resources when you're learning Max MSP, and I just want to introduce you to them now so that you can explore them in your spare time. If you have Max MSP already open, it's possible to access tutorials written by the people who wrote the programming language Max MSP by clicking on Help, and then you'll see these Max tutorials, MSP tutorials, and Jitter tutorials. The basic ones are the Max tutorials, which show you the data flow of the programming language, and then there's the MSP tutorials, which are more advanced and just about audio, and Jitter, which are more advanced and just about video. So you want to start with Max tutorials. Now, when this loads up, you'll see there's a basic section. This is designed to take you through getting an understanding of Max's programming language. So if you click on the first one, for instance, you'll see that there's a text document that appears, and this text document explains a patcher that you can open by open by clicking on open the tutorial. Every one of these tutorials follows this format where there's a program that you can interact with like you created it yourself and then an explaining document which will take you through the logic behind its creation and tell you about the nuances you need to be aware of when you create your own in much the same way as I hope to do with my video series. The next resource is the help file resource. If I open the help file then you'll see for this plus object if I want to learn more here it has an explanation and here it has an interactive example that allows me to see the explanation in action. And this can be interacted with just like any normal patch here and you can copy bits and take bits just, just like you would uh, if you were using any other patch including the patches that go along with the tutorials. If you need some more information then open Max Reference here in the title bar of the help file will give you the detailed explanation of what the functions and the optional uh, the optional arguments and messages that, that this object can receive are and that's a little bit more advanced but if you're stuck with just using this then you might need reference every so often to clarify a point. In the C also it shows you similar objects and if you click on that it will open the help file for these objects. So you hear the expression object um, here's the help file for that or it will show you the tutorials that this object has been mentioned in. So if you click on this tutorial, like the tutorial we looked at earlier, it's in the same format, and this one will uh, show you how to do simple maths, or math if you're American. The final resource I want to go over is the, the Cycling74 site, which is the publisher of Max MSP, it has its own community forum and it's the best place that I've found to go for advice on MaxMSP. So if you go to their main site then click on community then click on forum or just go straight to cycling74.com backslash forum then you can search through here for answers to your questions. Now if you're stuck and there's no answers you can find by searching feel free to sign up and then add new once you've uh, signed up but there's something important to note here that if you go to the Max MSP tab, there's a common Max Arcana, uh, Arcana, I think that's how you pronounce that. And this is a sort of FAQ thing that shows you how, how you can post and how you should post in order to get the, respo the responses that you want. And that's a really, really good uh, thing to overview before you start posting. I hope all of that was helpful to you. If you've got any queries, leave them in the comments below and I'll try and get to them as soon as I can. See you guys.